Are we oh joined God. by Brooks B casting? Okay, you have been, yeah. The best caster of them all. Let's go! Alright, you guys are super loud. I'm gonna turn you down in Discord. Here's the draft, right. by the way, stream. That's better. Brooks, I, I understand that you've, uh, in fact, recently acquired a pre-built computer. Uh, can you tell me what it was like to lose your penis? Uh, it was good. You know, it's better than having, you know, being having an extra chromosome like certain people in here. You know, that's, that's all I gotta say about that. All right, all right. Uh, if, and, yeah, if you don't mind, uh, could you stop insulting Pat like that? <laughs> uh, I really appreciate that. Thanks. But when it, when, you really, when it really comes down to it, you know, I... I, uh, you, you saw that thing in the group chat. I said, I've done several months of extensive research on multiple PC parts. I got my own individual PC consulting guide from Nicholas Michael Pittman, who built his own PC and even said that when the prices are about even, you always, always buy it rather than build it. So, oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Is, yeah. is this the same Nicholas J. Pittman that likes to go to Market 32 on Friday nights? I think it is. Is it not? It, who's Nicholas J. Pittman? I only know Nicholas, Nicholas Michael Pittman. Yeah, but the Michael becomes abbreviated to J. It's called the four-year well, transform. <laughs> oh, I forget you're an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> go back um, here, industrial art. But you do, but, but, oh, a Camille pick, potentially. And they let but, the Kha'Zix through. This game is over. But okay, wait, can you, Pat? Can you send me the uh, the drafting I, website? I got, it, I got it. Actually, that's really interesting. No, Conrad, this is not the this is the tiltability Kazakhs. Oh, I forgot tiltability is not their eighty carry. He's their jungle. Yeah. I did not prepare my stat sheet for this game because I was not expecting this game to occur. Actually, is alcoholic semen throwers back at a uh, full strength, or are they still? Oh, but I. Wait, wait, wait. I can't invite uh, Triple L and I can't invite him. Yeah, so what what you have to do, you have to ask uh oh, somebody. Yeah, I got with the spectator, sorry. I mean I know how to do it if you guys okay. want to in here. Alright, <clears throat> hang on. Um wasn't oh yes, I forgot to say this yesterday, but congratulations on the win yesterday, boys. Thank you, thank you. It was very the tough. To win. Uh, somebody uh, on our well, team made it almost a win. Okay, guys, guys, uh, let's, let's focus up on the draft. Focus up on the draft, please. Of course, of course, of course. Red Pack still has not picked a jungler here, um, which is kind of weird because you don't really counterpick junglers. It's, it's more of like you want a jungler that syncs with your team rather than to counterpick the enemy jungler. There's certain scenarios where it's good. But, uh, so this is interesting. Uh, I really enjoy the Camille counterpick and the Garen. I think that's a really strong pick. Uh, and if you know how to play the matchup well, you can really abuse it. Now, I don't understand why Garen was picked during that second phase, uh, instead of grabbing either Orn or Kate Morg, if they I wanted think, the Caitlyn. Yes. I think he's an Orn one trick. I'm sorry, a Garen one trick. That would be my assessment, okay. because he okay. picked Garen when there are no bans directed towards him whatsoever. So he may or may not be a Garen one trick. Okay, in the case <laughs> that he's a Garen one trick, I believe what there I would have... Pick Kate and her lane partner, preferably a Morgana, in that first phase. Uh, blue side has to either pick one of their solo lanes or their AD carry uh, during the blue side's second phase. And then uh, we can either pick Garen here in the third phase once he knows his matchup, or they can pick something else if Garen's not so favorable. Wow, that was a lot of things that you said, and I listened to none of it. Yeah. Um, I noticed that so uh, they got like the Trundle pick coming out here. Yep. Along with, the I, uh, with no tanks so far, I'm really questioning that. Uh, especially considering this is Gamelian. I mean, he really hard carried the last game. I'm surprised they didn't put him on a harder on a hard carry jungler. Um, this is actually ideal for alcoholic semen throwers. I believe. I actually and I, agree. I, that Trundle is, is not he's not a carry tank and he's not a uh carry damage he is yes and, and you know the, the weird thing besides that is that there's really no big tanks on the enemy team there was an mm -hmm. orn or maybe a maokai in the top lane i would consider trundle to be a good pick into that what, but i mean with just the nautilus, the nautilus yeah yeah uh, i mean that's the thing is already that poggers and lacking the resistances that an orn might have poggers is a very good lissandra player and uh, one thing one thing i will point out is that the Rat Pack jungler Gamelian, he picked Trundle, but he's also 
a quite a good Graves player, Biathlon has op.gg, so I, and Graves was wide open, so I'm not sure why he didn't pick Graves here. That is surprising. Maybe they want it for synergies, but I'm not, I'm not really seeing any synergies here. Oh, here we go. All right, You're people floating buying in. items. I have also noticed that, did, did Abe pick Kaisa into Caitlyn? No, I think the Kaisa was picked first, was it not? I no, no, the Caitlyn was picked Caitlyn was picked first. All right, I would, I would say it's kind of a throw, not gonna lie. I'd say it's even more of a throw by Lajorb not playing Morgana when it was open, after they picked Caitlyn. Oh my god, that was unbelievable, man. They could have just had a lane. Yeah. Oh, it looks like... We're going, going for a little action here. Blue side will I'd be like going to for point out here. that our resident e-girl is not playing an e-girl champion. Oh, she is not. Uh, I think that's really awesome. That is, yeah, that's a step in the right direction, definitely. The next thing I want to see from League of Legends is Darius. <laughs> and then I'll be content. All right, so as, soon as, I see a women, as soon as I see a woman playing the same champions that guys are playing, <laughs> our game is in a good place. I'm going to send that clip to every girlfriend you have. <laughs> Duncan's views do not represent the views of the Rats tournament. Cherry Dragon does not have a skin for Chief. Oh my goodness, he's jumping right into them! Oh god! Oh, what is going on up here? Run, Minge! Minsk! Oh, Gav, trying to get a little bit of the man action. Really smart um, to start the E there and get himself away from danger, but this lane is going to be a little tough now, not having that yeah, W. Yeah, but, but now, but now, it's still his ability to know it's Divert Jung. So so Cherry Dragon. Oh, See, oh, just God. imagine, that was a what Morgana! What is going on down here? Cherry Dragon, that was one of the worst plays I've ever seen in my entire life. No offense to him. But... Oh, no, no, imagine if that was a Morgana, that's a first blood for them! Instead, we get a shitty Karma Q. Bryce, this is an aggro stream. You're allowed to say whatever you want. <laughs> So, Cherry Dragon, kind of. I think, I think there. Abe, Abe had both of his sums. I think he should have full committed to killing Cherry Dragon. Honestly, I think if he flashed in there, he probably could have killed them. And if he heals before the ignite, it's well, traps are down. Traps are down. There's no follow up because it's not walking a up with karma. Oh, he's dead. dead. Not it's karma. Uh, not karma. Cherry Dragon not respecting the Nautilus hook there at Cherry all. Cherry Dragon's fans must be really disappointed in Twitch chat. That was quite the, uh, quite the really end, I have to there. say. Yeah, you know, if you're gonna at least, if you're gonna stand near Nautilus, like, at least make sure there's the minions between you when you do that. And now Duncan said this was a counter pick, but I've seen him play this matchup and it is not a counter pick. Yeah. I mean, I, I really gotta, I, I don't, I don't think that Camille wins this lane, don't get me wrong. The only thing that she can do safely is farm. She's pretty much never going to kill the Garen. Um, now, oh. this is a huge mistake. He's already out of too long. He's going to lose about half his health. So, Kaisa will come back to lane with a pickaxe as her, oh her my first God. Maybe she can start mining some kills. So this is we are now We are now getting rid of one of our casters now. Um, I'm going to say we are going to get rid of... After that comment, we're going to get rid of Duncan. Oh. Uh -huh. Interesting gank in the mid lane. Ooh, and that's a dead. And he's gone. Flash. Bye bye. Um, and Minsk 3 will go down to the Garen. Garen simply just outplayed the Camille there. Very high skill champion. Just point click ignite. Uh, it's my favorite summoner spell. I mean, he didn't do the true outplay, which is flash ignite. Flash ignite all. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Flash Ignite is the, the strongest outplay you can have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Cherry Dragon. Oh, not... oops, I Go fucked back to up. that. He is so dumb. Camera. Oh, he's dead. Dra oh, Cherry he's Dragon, actually, not he's looking good. Uh, he's, he's done. Th these trap placements are not on point. Um, uh, the problem also... there is that instead of trying to net 
perpendicularly to the line of the Nautilus Q, he actually hooked directly uh, away from it, which, yeah. you know, Nautilus Q is actually the length uh, between the first two turrets. Um, so you're going to hit that pretty much <laughs> anywhere on the map. <laughs> it do be kind of long, though. This is oh, well. Camille's best Fairy chance Dragon. to make this lane work for her. Cherry Dragon she has a good, good-sized wave pushing. He needs to take a good trade here. And he's going to want to keep his pressure by zoning Garen off of those minions. And instead, he's giving up all lane control. Never mind. So, it looks like Cherry Dragon will be down half the CS to aim. And also has two deaths. He will also be down... He's down a thousand oh, gold to the Kai'Sa. Oh, I, also know that, I also know that the Caitlyn is not using her range advantage very well against the Nautilus or the Kai'Sa. You just sort of I'm have curious, to... Do all of our spectates work the same way? I'm mid lane now. I'm centered on the yes. works. Of course. Uh, I'm cool. just looking at bot lane for the most part. Wait, are you under... Of course, Doug. It's called Deterministic. Alright, so... Alright, so Terror Dragon now is doing the smart thing. Playing behind the minion wave. That's Portion. Like, I'm surprised what are you he didn't. Doing, man? So now, pretty much, they, they can. Oh, oh, we know he misses the cannon. Oh, and he gets hooked. He has. Look at how much of a better trade missed... that was because he decided not to E. Wow. Like, he didn't completely fuck himself. So. They actually. Let's see how this bot lane plays out because. Uh, AST has a chance now. The Kai'Sa could possibly carry. There's nobody to really kill the Kai'Sa either, other than the Lux. As long as they keep the Garen off, there's no, like, Graves or uh, Kha'Zix to just pop to the To do Kaisa. the damage that they need, yeah. You're, yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, yeah, I will really say... Solo killer. Yeah, the red side team is lacking in the engage department, I will say. It's a very good observation, Brooks. Thank you, thank Looks you. Looks like tops, top might get dope here. If Chameleon hits six off of this wave, or off of this camp, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a top no, dive. No, 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 you're saying it wrong. Gameleon. I don't think... Uh, I don't uh, know how jungle right, XP man. works. So, I have no idea if Chameleon will hit level six off this. I don't know if he will not hit level six off of this. But it looks like he's still going to try and go for the dive. Oh, he's going to stand right on that ward. Uh -oh. Ah, wow! He's actually going to engage and waste his E, even though he knows... Trundle's here, and yeah, we're gonna get a dive even, but without six. I, I would try to run here. here. Yeah, yeah, I would try to run. There's oh, no way he ever got out. will have to be the one impossible. to tank this. He's just doomed, yeah. And now wow. he just gets outplayed. Uh, I did call that about a minute in advance, by the way. I just want to point that out. Something. You like a medal. I know how fucking much junglers love top lane. You weren't showing your boy CR2 much love in the, in the game yesterday, though. Well, I don't want to tell you, Brooks. He uh, seemed to be pushed constantly under the enemy turret uh, with half of his health missing and no vision down. I mean, you guys still won, somehow. You did, yeah. But uh, how do you think we lost it all? Here we go, all in. Uh, he actually wins this if he would just keep... Oh, no, the Trundle's going to show up, and he wastes his second Q. Trundle shows up. Camille will just be backing up. But in regards to the game yesterday... Chris, in that Aurelia game, he has Shinshin TP'd twice that game. I saw! I watched them happen! It was quite unfortunate. As soon as, once, he, once the first one happened, I just knew the game was over from that point. I wanted to say a Shinshin TP so badly. <laughs> so, Rex, can you be honest with the chat for a real quick hot minute? Okay. This new computer, is it for League of Legends or is it for Transport Tycoon 3? Railroad Tycoon 3, I Transport be, Tycoon Be honest. Three. It's actually for uh, Overcooked 2. Oh! Considering going pro in that game? Yes, I am. Very respectable. 20 CS lead in the bot lane. Let's see where the gold sits. Uh, about 1,200 ahead on the Kai'Sa. I taught him that trick, by the way. 1,200 ahead for the Garen. Mid lane sitting very even. 700 ahead for the, uh, the jungler with the Ice Club. <laughs> So I gotta right, be honest with you here, folks. Uh, Camille has essentially thrown what semblance of a, a, a chance she had in this lane. Oh yes, it is for sure. Not been trying well at all. 
and uh, she really needs to be going straight for a Triforce here at this point. She doesn't, she can't afford to uh, buy a team mat. So Kha'Zix potentially looking to do something bot? No, he will just blast going right on out of there. Trundle coming mid, but Ari realizes that soon enough she will just run towards the bot side river. And then Kha'Zix looking to go for an invade here on the enemy crumbs. I just saw a Lux laser somewhere. Or maybe I didn't, maybe I'm just retarded. No, it looks like they the cooldown just went off. Yeah, Trundle coming top, just showing his presence. He does, they will spawn the Rift Herald top. It should result in the first tower going I towards. Bad for Caitlyn again. The CS lead really growing in the bot lane. It's going to be a, a matter of Garen versus. Uh, this is quite the very polar opposite of last game, where it was mid lane focused. This game, it's one focused top, one focused bot. I'd really like to see the Kazix try to get the bot lane ahead more. Oh, I will God. say. I'd really like to see the Kazix do anything besides farm. Oh, well. Minsk 3. That's, that's, a, that's a yikes. Minsk 3, more like Minsk Meat, am I right, folks? <laughs> Minsk 3, more like Minsk 03. Conrad, uh, which team are, were we paid to promote again? <laughs> uh, that would be uh, Nice Cat Gaming. Oh, let's see some slick moves. Slick moves. Oh. Oh, oh. the Trundle. Oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Unbelievable. Wow. This is North America. <laughs> um, Poggers. Poggers, if you put an N instead of the P in his name, it makes a funny noise. When I am president of Earth, and I have a presidential library, the VODs of these games will go with Oh, there. the Caitlyn gets hooked surprisingly. Oh, she- She's Oh! Yeah, there's no ward oh, for the auto! She accidentally oh, gave a champion instead of auto uh, and ward. Oh, the Kaisa will go down. So that's not a terrible that's a, trade. That's a dominance but. asserted. I wouldn't call that terrible. It's just dominance asserted. But I will say- She's, this her, Caitlyn, her lead has grown. Her lead has grown. This From... Caitlyn's not gonna have a fun game. I'm gonna tell you right away. There's no one, no front line, no peel. Like, there's the Karma Shields and then the Lux Shields, that's about it. I'd actually prefer that on my Caitlyn. I don't want a front line when I'm playing Caitlyn or peel. <laughs> I want to. I want some well, magic I think... behind me sucking me off. Cherry Maybe. Dragon. Cherry Dragon seems to be trying to play front oh, line. Oh, look Caitlyn, at the Kha'Zix back in the pit. Line. They definitely know this is happening. He's in there. In it's the pit. Alex, welcome in. And it's gone! Oh, he, he will Amelia. steal the dragon. Chameleon is beating Trendle's ass. That's unfortunate. Nautilus will go down there. Despite That's, the fact that... I take that, that trade. I would take that <gasps> Oh, unfortunate. What I, what I would mission. give to have R.E.E. my uh, cock and balls. <laughs> I don't need to started. So, Minsk 3, unaware of the gear and sneaking up behind him. Oh, buddy, you had a huge chance. Actually, he's gonna get flash ulted. What an outplay. Yeah. I just wanna pop and in. And he is gone. I just wanna pop I in and say Kha'Zix actually stole the dragon. That's yeah. the s -s 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 okay. solo kill going That's over what we the said. with the dip. Okay, I didn't hear it. Sorry. <laughs> we got a bagseat caster here, apparently. <laughs> Oh, that Garen is absolutely massive this game. Next, he's gonna tell us we can't say the word broken. I appreciate it, Duncan. You Look know, at I that really... karma damage. Just pitiful. That's funny, because the karma for playing karma is an eternity in hell. Garen looking to take the... Looking to take Tiltability's blue buff here. A nice Everybody little knows. Invade. You want to keep your mana high on. Yes. This oh, is actually will... a really smart move from the Garen. Now, what Garen has done is he's recognized that the other chance that Blue has to win this game is to get their jungler really involved and strong. Wow, that could have been really bad for Camille. Yeah. That was timed so close. Okay, so the the other option there is uh, Camille ease like. 
a half second er uh, later, or no, earlier. If Camille had eat a half second earlier, she would have hit the broken tower, and the pillar would have actually canceled her. So it was a an absolute miracle that the pillar went up before her can <laughs> before her e connected with anything. Once again, doing Duncan doing in depth game analysis, boring the chat to sleep. <laughs> We're here to talk shit. Uh, I will like, say... Uh, Red Side's going for the uh, Baron Jr. What were you saying, Berg? Sorry to cut you off. I was going to say, this Caitlyn is down almost 2,000 gold to the Kai'Sa, and it's only 15 minutes into the game. That is <laughs> That's... Not good. I've, I've done a look-ahead prediction, and... It, oh, I've seen that Kai'Sa will die by the Garen ult at least four so, times. So that's interesting, <laughs> Rex. Uh, that being said... Even though uh, Caitlyn is 2,000 gold down by herself, uh, the red team is actually 2,000 gold ahead. Yeah. So okay. that... if Caitlyn is only that far behind compared to the huge leads that they have the rest of the map, they're actually in a good place to win this game. Yeah, they are still top lane and jungle are their win conditions for the red side team this game. I'd 100% agree with you. Here's the thing. What's that one uh, LCS team that always takes the... Uh... Rift Herald, but they always lose. Uh, the team does not exist anymore. CG. What? Clutch Gaming. Clutch? Well, rest their souls into Ethereus, but uh, Gameleon really has a lot of Rift control this game. I think he's taken every Rift so far. Here we go! Ooh, oh! Oh, my God. oh, the point blank laser! What a barrier! That was incredible! Barrier? All I saw was the barrel stuff. Oh! Nice! Uh-oh! Oh! Uh Caitlyn does go down again. The auto passing there. <laughs> the Garen BM. Garen is sitting <laughs> under the tower. Five tower shots, and it didn't matter at all. That's a champion, ladies and gentlemen. No armor, by the way. He has a little bit of armor. Where do you think that's from, Brooks? Did he build any armor? Yeah, it's the one cloth armor. That's like all. That's, that's so much armor. Yeah. It's all from his passive, bro. It's a dumb fucking champion. It should not be in the game. Are you talking about how dumb cloth armor is? You're wearing cloth. How much armor can that possibly give? That's like plus one armor, <laughs> realistically speaking. You want me to come punch you when you're naked and then punch you with clothes on and see which one hurts more? Well, fuck, why don't you do it with a long sword? That's where the difference should be. <laughs> <gasps> so I will point out that the Caitlyn actually has less CS than the jungler, the Trundle. Um, but also can be said about the top laner for blue side that they have the same CS as the Camille, the same CS as the Kha'Zix. Uh, so this just comes down to who has the weaker link on their team, the Caitlyn or the Camille? I would definitely say that it's going to be the Camille is so bad when she's behind. Caitlyn, I mean, Caitlyn's yeah, you'll bottom frag. Caitlyn's also extremely bad when she's behind. Yeah, you'll bottom frag, but it's not like your engage is weak. Right? Like, they need the Camille to, like, do stuff and do things and uh -huh. things and stuff. I, I disagree with you. I think Camille can be useful as a There's a breaking out. Versus Caitlyn's gonna be on. easy target every single fight. Uh, well, that, that was a big not damage. Oh my god, what? Oh, the Caitlyn does pick up a kill there. I'm so... Wow. Everybody now, look at the score. Said, Everybody probably... look at the score. It's the sex you number. got sex number score. Sex number and the score. Two sex numbers, 26,000 and 29,000. It's excellent. Oh, Caitlyn does just get blown up there. Jesus Garen Christ. Garen spinning on fuck? top of the Camille, almost takes her out. Normally I'd say a behind to... Camille is more useful than a behind Caitlyn, but this game, I think it's very player dependent. Yeah. Gotta be honest with you. Trying for another steal. Oh, Trundle in the pit. Unable to do anything. Did his best, but he should really have held off as long as he could. Oh, wait, the Trundle's a got bit it. Early there. Wait. wait Berks, the Trundle... are you confused? Are you having a colorblind moment? Yeah, I am. My bad. That's my fault, chat. I apologize. I, we, have, we haven't done a chat checkup this game. I'm going to do a chat checkup. Uh, the chat is dead because there's only six people watching and half of them are. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Well, this is still more than LCS. <laughs> hey, you know that LCS played both. both... Even last week they played. They just yeah, casted, they casted pro games. Yeah. Or not pro games, they casted pubs. <laughs> What's it? So the two strongest members of either team are about to face off here in the bottom lane.
But I think that the ga okay, the Garen has flash up. He has ignite. He this is definitely... actually really smart from them. Leave the supports with their two strongest members and uh, kind of kind of nurse them. And this is also really smart. Put the two weakest members together and see which one of them can. Oh, it's jungle difference. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Well, that pretty much secured Red Team's victory right there. Yeah, Red Team up. 3,000 gold, 4,000 gold. Yep. They managed Never to get know. their one shitty member back into the game. It's just a problem. Really excellent macro play. Why I'd always prefer a... Uh... Oh, the Garen flashes God, on the Kai'Sa. What the fuck is this? Karma has done oh. zero damage so far in the 2v2. <laughs> uh, that Garen does no damage. I mean, granted the Kai'Sa is down a level to the Garen, but still. Oh, God! This red How did you miss that? Oh, she actually wants the red buff. Classic Ari player. Wants everything, does nothing. <laughs> Forgets to auto the turret. <laughs> so, so the Kaisa's got her Rage Blade. So hopefully... Her farm is really taking off. Maybe Abe just had a bad first game. I actually don't like this build. The Kaisa oh, build? That's incredible, because I don't remember asking. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, his name is actually Abe, but I prefer saying Oh, Abe. hello. Right. Who has joined us? Oh, it's Jacob McKnight. But he's muted and deafened, so he can't hear us. For when we play, you should just have the stream. <laughs> what if we just had five casters? And it's just our <laughs> we had a team of casters and two actual teams. <laughs> so here's the thing, they're gonna. That's why I always prefer to have a fed carry on the main team rather than a fed tank. Because you can kill a carry, you can't kill a tank when they're fed. Alright, sure. using one of her three dashes there to get away, she is now in a different postal code. She actually only used one dash to get away, Conrad. One over three. I said one over three. Oh. Like, how do you kill this Gare Bear? That's what I want to know. Yeah, like, there's no one on the other team who can do it. Maybe if the Kaiser got the free fire for 30 seconds. Okay. To their jungler's down two levels. Top lane's down two levels. ADC's only had one level. No, I'd, I'd actually like to uh, oh. take a minute, step away from the game to uh, explain to Twitch chat how an internal combustion engine works. <laughs> oh, the Kaisa. Ooh. Ooh, she. Oh. Ooh. The Lux Auto and will take is. her out. Mage Auto, Garen? Mage Auto, oh. Mage Auto. Garen exactly will, what Garen Conrad was saying earlier. Model. It is easy to kill a carry, it is not easy to kill a tank. Oh, the Garen? And None because the, the Garen? carry was the fed one on the blue team, they were destined to lose. Yeah. This game is, is now pretty... 070, and she is fucked, mate. Yeah, she doesn't even have a full item yet. I I was bullying uh, Minsk 3 back in middle school, and I'll continue to do that now. He has <laughs> sunk his team's hopes with the 07 scoreline. Yes, he's he... Chris Ryan Tewing. Yes, he is. He must have been watching the game yesterday, because that's where he would have learned this from. Who won last game? The Red I... Team. This, oh. this, this series is over. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I, was, I was looking forward to a game three. Now, here's the thing, is that this is this is the red team playing with a subbed player. So this is you true. really have to respect their potential here. They uh, are two subbed players? Oh, yeah. Oh, two yeah, I forgot players. Chip. Yeah, but the top lane is an upgrade, let's be honest. <laughs> Were there subs? <laughs> top and ADC. Wait, so... Do we... Who are, who are these two subs? Do you have any idea? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So where do they find Cherry Dragon? Do you have any idea or no? Oh. All right. Some would say that it goes against the spirit of the tournament, hiring random random people to help. But uh, wow, that is not. You know good. what? They're just picking up some land snacks. Okay. The There's nothing wrong with that. 
The Camille's the same level as the Caitlyn. That's generally... Uh, do you want to play Civ 5 later tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Was that a good joke? Uh, yeah, if you've said it. Land snakes. Not land snakes. You sound like a person that what thinks the there's fuck, gonna. Man? That's what it says. It's land snakes. Land snakes. Right? Like land knights? Like knights of the oh, land? Oh, right. I was supposed to know that. Does some of us have an land, autocorrelation? Land, land snakes? Say it again. Lands next. That's how you should say it. That's with Lands all that's next. All I've done is used American audibles there. I've I have not used a single uh, foreign vocab uh, syllable. Right? Lands Whoa. next. Lands next. Yeah. There you go. Lands neck. This has been uh, remedial English with Duncan Turner. Nice charm there, <laughs> but you forgot that you can't CC a Garen because he has something called tenacity. So, looking like the Caitlyn and the Camille just be left to their own devices in the bot lane. The Camille should looking... actually be able to get a kill on this, Caitlyn. I mean, yeah. it would be really embarrassing if you couldn't... But no, 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 here's the thing, it's the psychological thing. Because every time he's tried to do it, the jungler's been there. Oh my god, they almost killed the Garen, but... I Garen think this is a really good down, fight for Blue. Almost goes, only come goes on, so Blue, far. Come on, come on! Keep going, keep going! Give him the fear of god! Oh, okay. Kaisa will go down. Garen, uh, healing to full in a matter of minutes. <laughs> now, see, the Camille knows where she is. Oh, but she's let Caitlyn poke her out. Is Camille just going to let this happen? Like, she should be able to beat an AD carry if who's on her own. Uh-oh. I would agree with you, but she's let herself get poked out too much. Yeah. And the Caitlyn has the both summoned her spells. Oh, and he's dead. Oh. Goodbye, Ari. Oh, just Mr. E. Now, Caitlyn is out of mana, but she's an auto You have no right mana! That, of course, is my impersonation of Tyler 1. Call me Tyler 2. Ari's going for the death cap second, which I disagree with. I think they need mobility. No, not mobility, <laughs> utility. Maybe a smoke or a frag or a cinder. Please, Oh my me. goodness. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh wow! Ooh, Abe! Ooh, almost goes down. That is very haram. That is what we call a self-defense moment. <laughs> Stay in your ground moment. The Kaisa actually does have the most gold in the game, but as we said before, she's on the carry champion. Garen is Garen. So, we don't know who does that. Long enough, blue team has a chance of coming back. Camille is going to scale. And Kaisa is only going to get stronger. Fun fact. Uh, tilt ability has 206 bones in his body. Now it's 205, and now it's 204, and now it's 203, and now it's 202, <laughs> and now it's 201, and now it's 200. <laughs> being deboned by the enemy mid laner. Uh... I really think I should get a, death, uh, a Zonius here for some survivability. I would, I, uh, I would concur with that. Second that notion. Or third it. Or Banshees. Know. Banshees would also be acceptable for dealing with um, I uh, think Islam's right Fury. Now, you could give uh, Elder Dragon buff to the blue team for the rest of the game and they would still lose. <laughs> you really yeah. think so? No. So... I haven't seen too much of a tilt ability on the Kha'Zix this game, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, he has the items he needs. He's been AFK in his own but jungle. Again. Here's, the, here's the problem, is that that uh, pajama-wearing heathen has a hourglass that turns her, get this, you're gonna love this, it's the funniest thing you've ever heard, gold and invulnerable. <laughs> she pretends right? to be God. <laughs> that is... Zanya's is the ultimate haram item. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Oh, wow. So if he, if he jumps on her, won't do anything because she'll- Oh! And oh! Then oh! Oh! oh. I told you! Deboned by the mid laner. I called it ahead of time. You know, I would also say raid. that the only chance that uh, Blue has in this game is getting soul, but it looks like that's not even going to be 
a possibility with this jungler. Especially yeah. because now they get the quad infernal. That's what, 16% extra damage? Correct. I, uh, I do believe it's actually 24. No, you were right the first time. I tend to be because I am the all knowing one. It I can't like... see Kaisa W. Can you guys yeah, see it? I, I also saw that she sent it uh, somewhere else. This is this okay. Team, folks. So, despite the fact that I think Blue Team had the much better draft this game, they were actually looking to be. Oh my god, I didn't even see that Lux Q. Oh, they it's just gone. get it's over. demolished. Goodbye. Nautilus goes down, Camille going down. Garen looking to zone Christ everyone off. Begging his team to uh, never play with him again. Uh, <laughs> I can only imagine the. Uh, I just wish that he had, he had been turned on in the first game. I, I, I wish I, I really wish like I could this. hear. I, I wish I could hear the audio right now from from Blue Team. So I could just hear this Kaisa just flaming the shit out of Camille. And it looks like the red team will take game two, and they will secure a victory in the series. So, uh, I'll give uh, the MVT to, uh, gotta give it to, uh, gotta give it to uh, Chips with a Dip for coming through Clutch, being the, uh, the, yeah, he played well both games, he secured top lane, actually I changed my mind, uh, I changed my mind, uh, let me think some more. Um, MVP, I'll give it to Duncan Turner, uh, for his... <laughs> Is good casting. He had some good moments. So we'll give it to Duncan Turner. All right. So... I'm actually going to give it to. Uh, I'm going to give it to Minch, uh, but for <laughs> the other team. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do a quick. I, so I 